Okay, so uh, here's a quick look at uh, my telescope that I use to uh, do my astrophotography. It's a Tasco 302012 model. Uh, it's a four and a half inch Newtonian reflector. And uh, it comes on a EQ2 uh, mount, which is pretty sturdy. It's, uh, it's wooden. Uh, it's not fully extended as you can tell. Uh, generally I keep it at this level of extension. Uh, I find it gives it somewhat more stability. Uh, length of the tube is 900 millimeters. Uh, gives me about an f7.9 basically. So uh, you know a, a fairly medium uh, level uh, of, of f stop effectively. Um, some useful features on uh, the mount, some additions if you like. Uh, I have put a clock drive on for tracking. Uh, battery pack for that is just here. That's the battery pack. And uh, the motor for the clock drive just is, uh, is here. Um, comes with this very useful little remote. Let me see here, uh, I'll turn it on. And uh, if I do it at four times normal turning speed, you will be able to see just about, I think, uh, the movement in this wheel here, which allows me to track uh, objects of interest in the sky. The other very useful addition that I have just made to uh, the scope is up here. Um, it's an uh, electric focuser. Um, which replaces one of the manual focusing knobs that you see just here and uh, replaces that with a, with a motor drive. Uh, it comes with a remote also, here it is, very simple, uh, one, two buttons, one moving it in, one moving it out. And uh, as you can probably see, it does actually move quite quickly but um, it also allows you to make very minuscule movements when needed to get ultra fine focusing without actually disturbing the telescope by touching it which tends to make it rock all over the place. It also has this very useful gear here that uh, if I want to do quick manual focusing I can just disengage the motor by pressing this in and then I can focus as normal using the uh, knob on the other side. Uh, the other thing I have done is change the finder scope, which was pretty useless to be honest, um, with this red dot laser scope, which enables me to find uh, yeah, the things, the objects that I'm looking for somewhat more easily. Uh, there you go. Uh, I think that's pretty much uh, covers everything.